The Capybara, written by Benjamin Mark Adams. Fade in. We are watching a nature documentary, a beautiful landscape of South America. Capybaras have populated the area. They are called capybaras, the world's largest rodent. A capybara slips and falls into a pond. This curious little animal inhabits almost all of South America, living out their playful lives. A mother and her pups swim to the bank of the pond and shake dry. The lightest weighing in at around 80 pounds and at only a height of three feet. A bigger capybara smiles awkwardly. But nevertheless, they are fun-loving and full of energy. There's a big circle of capybaras chirping to each other. Luis, the capybara, is, is by himself a good six feet apart from the circle. Except this one. He's an interesting specimen, seemingly apprehensive from being popular. He's kind of pear-shaped. <laughs> Luis hides behind the group as they pass by him. He camouflages himself by rolling around in the mud until he disappears. He really needs to learn how to make friends and learn how to clean himself. <laughs> Luis watches longingly as the group leaves the scene. The capybara is truly a wonder of the modern world. Luis sneezes and a good amount of snot shoots from his nose. Coming up next, on the Outside Nature Channel, the mysterious hunter, the jaguar. A flash of a jaguar shoots across the screen. Begin dream sequence. Exterior, savanna, day. An enormous savanna. There's a bright sun shining on the golden plains. There's some loud rustling in the trees. The path of the disturbance is caused by a herd of capybaras running intensely through the brush. Jag, a menacing jaguar, pursues the herd. With a left, a right, and another swift right, the herd is doing their best to outmaneuver the jag. The loud counter of, of the massive jaguar's paws put a bounce on the capybara's steps. They come to a jarring stop at the edge of a strong river. One capybara tests the water, but a caiman pops out, snapping its jaws. The capybaras scurry away from the water. They are trapped. They look up into the blinding sun. Luis, looking confident, jumps down from his high perch on top of a hill. All of the trapped capybaras see him and revere his strength. Luis jumps from his perch, and his fur flows in the nice afternoon wind, doing an unnecessary yet very cool backflip as he lands. As he runs, he runs in front of the capybara herd and braces for Jag. He flashes the capybaras a confident smile. Jag stops in front of him. Luis takes a step forward. Jag rushes forward with great intensity. They collide. Luis is pushed back and is dodging Jag's claws. Luis trips Jag and he falls to the ground. Jag gets up and roars. Luis! Luis is concentrating on the task at hand and ignores the voice, but it's getting louder and louder. <clears throat> the, ca Luis! the capybaras disappear with a poof. Then Jag. Then the scenery. Then end dream sequence. Exterior, mud puddle, day. Wake up! Isabella the egret is lifting Luis's eyelids open. Luis shoves Isabella back. Isabella flies around him, being really annoying, whisking and whirling about him. What are you up to, Luis? Huh? Huh? What? Were you sleeping? Oh, you were sleeping, huh? Were you? Huh? Luis sheepishly meanders in his puddle to readjust himself. I was. Luis plops back down into his puddle. Some rustling from the trees. Isabella hears the ruckus and flies to see what's happening. Luis drops his head into the mud, much to his liking. The capybara heard from Luis's dream files in loudly, and Luis dives into the mud just so just his nose is exposed. Gordon, a big capybara, walks right in front of Luis, inspecting him. After a moment, he panics. Luis! Ah, he's dead! Luis rises, and Gordon's surprise makes him lose his footing, and he falls into the mud puddle. Get out of my puddle! Luis quickly shoves Gordon onto dry land. He tries to gather more mud to compensate for the mud that was wasted on Gordon. It's just mud, Luis. You're wearing my pillow. <laughs> Could you all just leave? I just want some peace and <laughs> quiet. Santos emerges from the back of the herd with a suave, combed back look that just screams pretentious. As Santos walks through the capybaras, the herd whispers to each other. Luis is not as impressed with the lifestyle Santos portrays and slinks deeper into his mud puddle. How is my favorite brother? We are about to have a race. Whoever reaches the riverbank first is the winner. What do you say? Mm, no thanks. 
I'm fine here. Come on, all you want to do all day is talk with that bird. Egret. Same thing. Like I don't want to race. I better just stay here and relax. Luis rolls around in the mud. <laughs> in the mud. Yes, in the mud. You got a problem with that? No, no, not at all. You want to play water tag with us later? No, thanks. I really don't like the water. Luis's rather large butt emerges from the mud. It's not very flattering. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella looks around to everyone laughing at Luis and stands up tall, which isn't very tall at all. You couldn't beat Luis if you tried. Remember? What happened last time? That's funny. A bird whose only friend is a capybara. That's really funny. Huh? Isn't that funny, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you two think you're better than me, than us. I never yes, said... You, <laughs> you want to bet? Santos gets into Luis and Isabella's faces like a baseball umpire. Hey, come on. Let's, let's not do this, huh? Do what? I don't want any trouble. You hey. just know you'll lose. No way. Luis could beat you anytime. I don't know. Oh, I yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The loser has guard duty the rest of the week. <gasps> it's on. Great. Let's go. Exterior, race track, day. The track is a twisting, turning, and intimidating sight. Luis gulps. Santos comes up behind Luis and smacks him hard on the back. Ah, impressive, no? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Ready? Santos gets into a starting position and Luis tries to mirror him. Get set. Santos throws his great big butt into the air. Luis sees Isabella's wing descend in a slow motion, and terror strikes into his eyes. Oh. Santos and Luis take off. Luis is not far behind his brother. Moving at top speeds, Luis tries his best to get in front of Santos, but just as he gains some ground, he loses it. Isabella flies to the other end side of the racetrack to the finish line, which is just a pile of broken twigs. Santos looks behind him and flashes a smug smile to Luis. Luis shows determination in his face and pulls ahead of Santos. A smaller river appears in the middle of the brush. Luis stops dead in his tracks while Santos dives in and swims gracefully to the other side. The finish line is in sight just over the stream. Luis frowns, taking a few steps back, and then jumps as far as he can. He barely makes it across with only his back legs touching the water. Santos sees Luis gaining on him. Shocked, Santos looks to the side and sees a massive tree. A nasty smile creeps onto his face. Luis smiles. He might make it this time. Just as he's about to pull ahead for the win, Luis is shoved into the tree by Santos. Santos crosses the finish line with his friends, surrounding him with praise. Luis shakes off the hit, and Isabella comes to his aid. Santos walks over to him as well. Better luck next time. Have fun in the mud. Santos and his crew walk off, laughing. Luis looks up at Isabella and grumbles. His arm is cut. The sun begins to set. Exterior, Capybara Pond, sunset. Santos and his crew are still laughing when they run into Cyrus, a strong-looking capybara with a red macaw feather in his hair. Santos's crew sees Cyrus and they bow to him. Santos stays face to face with him. Santos? Yeah, Dad, I'm chief. Is everybody back? It's getting late. <laughs> Almost everyone. <laughs> Where's Luis? Check the mud. <laughs> Santos brushes past Cyrus. Cyrus looks to the group for answers. They all point their heads in the direction they came from. <sighs> all of you, back to the pond. He's late. Exterior, mud puddle, sunset. Luis is sitting on the edge of his mud puddle, tending to the cut on his arm. You okay? Fine. You should leave. You find where I actually belong. You don't belong here? Find people that understand me. I understand you. They hear a rustling in the brush. Come on! Can I have a moment's peace? Luis quickly throws mud on himself. He camouflages every inch of his body quite well with leaves, moss, and mud. Don't hide, Luis. Shh! Fly away! Isabella crosses her arms and stays put. Luis ineffectually tries to push her away from the mud puddle, but she doesn't budge. Cyrus walks through the trees and sees Isabella next to the mud puddle. Bird, where is my son? Egret. Bless you. He looks around the area 
and sees what looks like a moss-covered rock next to the puddle. <laughs> Cyrus is startled. He walks to the rock, taps it twice, and Luis reveals himself with snot hanging from his nose. What the... Luis? Hey, Chief. Uh, how's it going? What are you doing? Uh, wallowing in the mud? I'm not wallowing. I'm just... A large glob of mud falls from his chin. Hanging out. <laughs> Luis, follow me. Isabella flies off. Luis walks with Cyrus. End of the first ten pages, and here endeth the readings.